Okay, I'm working on my 2006 F-350 here, and we're going to be removing this radiator. Uh, just some of the tools we're going to need. It's a pair of pliers, a 7 millimeter for the hose, a 3 quarter for the spout to drain it, and then an 8 millimeter for these up top here. And we're going to also need a, a um, disconnect kit. I rented this from uh, AutoZone. It's like a master kit. You can see the number there, 27318. And the one that we're actually going to be using is this one right here. And notice kind of how it's shaped there. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing, just going to start draining the coolant out of here. Okay, so we come over here on the driver's side and we look under and we'll see a three quarter plastic spout right there so we're just going to go ahead and get that loose and start draining this out and uh, once we get this we will go ahead and work on getting our lines disconnected here next okay with our cooling out we're just going to pop this little clip here that helps hold that on there just take that straight off. I'm just going to do the same thing on that one down there. Okay, now I've took and sprayed those off with some brake cleaner and then took a little bit of WD-40 and went around there. And this, notice it's a little bit bigger up here than it is at the bottom. So it allows it to go over this nub right here. So... If I can slip it around it and give it a good push here, then I'll just be able to pull that straight back. And I, don't, I won't be able to do this one-handed, but just pushing down and pull straight back with the other hand will pop that off of there. Okay, and uh, make sure you got a little drip pan there too because it will drip a little bit. And I've actually got some little rubber plugs and I'm just going to stick them in the end of this line here to keep any debris and keep it from dripping so much so <clears throat> I'm just going to get down there on that other one and do the exact same thing like I said just slip it on there and push down a little bit and it'll pop right back and off of there Okay, these little plastic clamps, just push up on that and you can pop that down and that will allow you to be able to um, pull these on down a little bit and give you a little slack if you need it. Okay, so now I'm just taking my seven millimeter and we're gonna get this hose loose and work on twisting it off of here. And these may be pretty tight. You may have to use a little ratchet to break them loose if you can't get it with the screwdriver. Okay, because these hoses like to really get stuck, um, I like to use a screwdriver to push and get some leverage. And sometimes I'll even apply a little bit of WD-40 under there, just depending on how bad it gets stuck. So we're just going to go ahead and push that off of there. And uh, make sure to have your pan ready because it will have some cooling up in that hose too as well. Now that we're up top, we're going to have a little hose going to a little nub here and just take you some pliers, get that loose, and we're going to push that back. <clears throat> then we're going to go ahead and take our seven and get this one right here loose and go ahead and push it off just like we did that other one there. Okay, so right now I'm just going to take my 8 millimeter and get these here loose, and then we've got a couple more right over here. Okay, and so we just took and set those aside there for now. Okay, so right now I'm just going to take these two out of this front. Okay, now I kind of pulled these up and out of here essentially together. But I took the front screws 
off because it allowed me to kind of pull them up and see what it was uh how it was hanging on the front of that fan right there so i was able to work it up and out of there but you can pretty much pull them up and out of there together it just needs to the bottom lip of this shroud just wants to hang up on that fan so um putting it back in i will definitely go back in with it on there it just takes a um little uh, less risk scratching up the fins and dinging them up on the radiator there but that's everything as far as getting it out of there not really that difficult you just need you're going to need you a tool and like i said you can go to AutoZone and rent this and i know that um, this one little tool here will in fact work and you can kind of see how it's kind of stepped up there but it doesn't take a lot i mean just to push that in there and it pops it out so all right well thanks for watching